Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential equation. We have x minus 1 to the power x equals 1 over 7 to the power 6. Now, when you look at an equation like this, a lot of times it will be helpful to use guess and check if the solutions are integers or rational numbers. Even in some cases, you can find irrational solutions by guess and check. So, and it also makes sense to compare the bases to bases and exponents to exponents. For example, could x minus 1 be equal to 1 over 7? And x equal to 6, right? And the answer is no, because if x is 6, this is going to be 5. Or if x is 8 sevenths, it's not going to be 6. So this is not possible. So as is, we can't find a direct solution. So let's go ahead and manipulate this a little bit. The first thing, and I'm going to rewrite the original problem for you. The first thing that comes to mind is to turn this into a negative exponent. Why? First of all, I don't want this to be a fraction. So let's write it as 7 to the power negative 6. Make sense? The rule is... 1 over x to the power n can be written as x to the power negative n. Okay? Now, do we have a correspondence? Let's see. Can x minus 1 be 7? Which means x is 8. And x equals negative 6 at the same time. And the answer is no. It's impossible. But guess what? We can manipulate this a little bit more to get what we want. Notice that by changing it, by using a negative exponent, I was able to get this equal to negative 6. So what if x is equal to negative 6, but then I change the 7. And I can change the 7 because the exponent is even. So what do you know? If you have a to the power 2n, it is the same thing as negative a to the power 2n. And negative 6 is an even number. So, 7 to the power negative 6 is the same as negative 7 to the power negative 6. And is that helpful? And the answer is yes. Why? Because x is 1 more than x minus 1, and negative 6 is 1 more than negative 7. So, instead of the 7 to the negative 6, we're going to replace it with negative 7 to the power negative 6. And then we will get the 1 to 1 correspondence because if x minus 1 is negative 7, that means x is negative 6. And my exponent says x is negative 6. So they agree on the same solution. Therefore, x equals negative 6 is a valid solution. Make sense? Is that the only solution? something to talk about right so here's what we're going to do x minus 1 to the power x so what does the graph look like you can kind of explore that a little bit first of all this graph is only defined if x is greater than 1 right so how do we find negative solutions first of all let's remember that our result the original problem does not give us a negative answer so this is not negative right as you would know because originally it was 1 over 7 to the 6 remember this is a positive base this is even so the answer is greater than 0 so the y value we're going to be looking at is actually positive which is good because this graph doesn't go below the x-axis so it starts at 1 and at 1 it's defined because um, it starts at 0 0 comma 0 because if x is 1 0 to the power 1 equals 0. Makes sense? And then our graph goes up like this. And this graph is always going to increase because it's similar to x to the power x. We're just replacing x with another uh, polynomial. Or we're kind of, well, not necessarily shifting the graph, but hopefully you get the idea. Therefore, x equals negative 6 is the only solution to this equation. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, 
be safe take care and bye bye